work given for you okay question number 14 that is uh, we need to prepare again the same thing the income and expenditure account and the balance sheet okay now if you have any doubt just uh, unmute and let me know at the same time if you miss something because we are in the sequence by entering right okay so we'll start with the first of all the uh, income and expenditure part i hope that you have uh, uh, done the basic entries okay so we'll start with this first one this board we have the cash in hand and cash in back okay see i will just do quickly so that uh, we'll complete it okay so we have cash and bank see this is the entry we uh, the amount we uh, we took uh, took from 8200 and 16000 that is cash in hand and cash in bank is the basic entry i hope that you all have done the basic entries in your homework okay yes, the next uh -huh, very good this is how you can answer okay now next one is what we have the furniture that is 20000 right we have the furniture at this 20000 uh, so what i told at the same time what you need to do you need to check the amount okay any is there any adjustment so is there any depreciation here for the furniture yes we have we have to check that is 10 percent so 20000 what comes about the 10 percent is your 2000 so for furniture we depreciate amount we have written here that is 20000 uh, 20000 minus 2000 the outer column comes to 18000 till here it is clear and at the same time we have uh, in the income and expenditure part i hope uh, that is it's clear for you ha huh. at the same time they have given see here the furniture repairs they have given i have just uh, gone through this see here this one entry aapko uske sath likhna hai who is doing any entry no na see this is a furniture repairs that is 1800 wo aapko it is here okay till here it is clear and at the same time we have two entries of the furniture see humko tabhi check karna hai furniture ko aur bhi kuch hai like prepared hai like outstanding hai at the same time we have to clear about the furniture so furniture depreciation account we have done with the balance sheet a year part and at the same time we have the repairs of furnitures given in this we have taken here till here it is clear okay okay thank you the next one is we have the outstanding subscription again the subscription part okay 8500 this is the outstanding subscription students listen carefully now the outstanding subscription here is 8500 and if you see uh, in the adjustment they have given 3000 here okay and here also if you see there is an outstanding subscription about 2017 or 18 okay that is 2000 now this outstanding is for 2018 and 19 whereas this outstanding is included hota hai ye jo aapko diya hai 8500 wo kabhi ka hai first april 2018 matlab ye ye jo 2000 aapko dikh raha hai wo 17 18 matlab 18 ka kuch amount isme hai we did in the last sum also so what you have to do you have to 8500 minus which amount 2000 or uh, 2017 or 18 ka amount you have to minus it okay so what is the amount you will get that is 6500 okay ye amount kaha ka hai ye one this one okay and this amount is of 2017 and 18 joke amount this may included have no simple minus karna right because as per these first april 2018 the outstanding uh, subscription is 8500 but this two, uh, 2017 has that amount which is included in this 8500 we have to minus that uh, 2000 and the answer is 6500 outstanding subscription hai. i hope till it is here it is clear now how can we include this 6500 here now uh, first of all what is the subscription amount here given here yes what is the subscription amount given you can check the subscription amount is 45000 ye jo hai wo last year ka kya hai wo outstanding tha jo ke included hai is 8500 jo ke humne minus kiya and now we got how much 6500 so now first of all we have to write the subscription amount 4500 okay and now at the same time we have given here okay they have given here the amount that is 3000 
थ्री थाउजेंड दैट इज वॉट आउटस्टैंडिंग सब्सक्रिप्शन वो क्या है वो अपना आउटस्टैंडिंग सब्सक्रिप्शन है सो हाउ मच इज आउटस्टैंडिंग सब्सक्रिप्शन दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड द आउटर कॉलम कम्स टू फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड टिल हियर इट इज क्लियर वो सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हम लोग लिखेंगे पहले ये लिखो हाउ मेनी द इन्वेस्ट द सब्सक्रिप्शन इज फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड वी हैव लेस एज पर द एडजस्टमेंट इज थ्री थाउजेंड ओके दैट इज डन विथ हाउ मच वी गॉट उटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट आपको यहाँ पे लिखना है उसके साथ हमको क्या लिखना है थ्री थाउजेंड ओके ये सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड कैसे बोला मैंने हाउ डिड वी गेट एट थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस दिस टू थाउजेंड सो वी गेट सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ओके दैट वी गॉट वो सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड and uh, the outstanding amount 3000 okay aapko ko year bhi mention karna hai to humko 6500 hai wo kaun sa year ka hai 2017 year 18 okay and 2018 and 19 wo hamara kaun sa hai abhi ka jo aapko adjustment mein diya hai dekho yahan pe yahan pe okay 3000 so we got the total outstanding subscription amount is 9500 till here it is clear unmute and let me know yes ma'am okay Now the next part we have. So, oh, next we have the rent year. Can you see here the rent is two two thousand five hundred. But the rent is what they have told the rent for last two months is five thousand still due. Still due means so we need to. Now, like, we have to. Our what is it? Still due. It's outstanding still. So what we have to do? Twenty five thousand. Yeah, our amount is. We have to rent. Dena hai. Right now, what they have told. आपको उसी टाइम पे एक आपको बैलेंस शीट में दिया है द रेंट इज आउटस्टैंडिंग दैट इज सेवन थाउजेंड ओके सेवन थाउजेंड ओके सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यर ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड द रेंट फ्रॉम द इनकम एंड फ्रॉम द पेमेंट साइड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड लेना है एंड वी हैव टू लेस दिस सेवन थाउजेंड ये हमको क्या है ये अपना लास्ट ईयर का आउटस्टैंडिंग है ओके तो ये क्या हमको क्या करना है लेस करना है and we need to collect the outstanding amount as per the adjustment given here that is it is due for 2 months 5000 usko hum kya karenge add karenge now we will get the amount 23000 okay i repeat rent is 25000 okay aur ye jo apna rent hai wo jo 7000 hai wo kya tha hamara outstanding tha lekin wo last year ka so we have deducted that amount actually the uh, the rent amount is 18000 Okay, but this year's outstanding as per the adjustment is five thousand. So we have added that, and now the rent is twenty three thousand. Till here, it is clear. Student, student, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now next one is the stationery. We have stationery. Now, is any adjustment related to the stationery? Stationery, me, kya bola? We have the expense of forty-five thousand. Okay, we have the expense of forty-five thousand now. What is the stationery here? We have how much? Just stationery, three thousand. Okay, outstanding amount. Here you can see what we are. We are deducting that one thousand. And आपको क्या बोला है? Adjustment में ये अपना क्या है? We need to payable. Okay. That's so payable again. It's what the outstanding part. So we the total amount gets to two four five zero. Till here it is clear. Hmm? At the same time, you have to write in the balance sheet. Okay, क्या है outstanding जो क्या क्या हम लोग ने क्या calculate किया the rent and the uh, stationery part. क्या था वो five thousand and the four fifty amount from year and year. Till here it is clear. I hope this entries you have done. Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. So next one is what fixed person from the investment. अभी हमको investment. We'll come back to that salaries. Okay, investment अभी हम लोग ने देखा है. कितना दिया है investment? Six thousand. How much? Six thousand five hundred. So what we will do? So we'll take the six thousand five hundred. आपको ये जो three ninety है वो कैसे मिला आपको? Six person of six thousand five hundred. So we'll get the amount that is. 
3900 adjustment me uh, uh, this is this is the investment uh, right uh, that is how much it is given 6% of investment so aapko kitna aayega that is your interest that is 390 so we will get this amount understand here till here it is clear the student how we got the amount how we got the outer column that is uh, investment is 6500 6% 6 of the 6% of that is 390 and what we did we added the amount we got 6890 in the outer column till here it is clear i hope this we have done okay one one thing is left that is stationery nahi stationery we have done okay next one is what by salary what how much the salary is that is 22000 so now 22000 again the salary amount is 8000 so see here outstanding of last year the now the uh, what the salary is 14000 till here it is clear we got see there is no adjustment related uh, other than this so we are not including anywhere else is this clear yes students one of you unmute and let me know yes, yes ma'am okay fine fine for years also they take so much time okay now the next one is what honorarium to the uh, secretary so this is 16000 again this is our payment will write in the expenditure column that is the amount straight away how much it is we have 16000 So that is a sixteen thousand. Next, we have miscellaneous expenses two thousand. At the same time, we have the miscellaneous receipt. Okay. So where the entry comes first in the expenditure part and second one is the income part. The expenditure part me kitna apna expenses tha two thousand. We got two thousand. We have five thousand here. Ah, uh, the income part expenses. So we'll write here. I hope everything is clear till here. Is any ah? Uh, आपको ऐसे कुछ हुआ कि आप जब uh, you are you need to you are uh, entries are post कर रहे थे and then by the same time while calculation you didn't get anything so please let you know till here it is clear so after that what you have to do you have to calculate the amount okay so whatever now this time we get the expenditure more than our income इसमें क्या है expenses ज़्यादा है compared to the income side okay so how much it is how much it is 7860 okay now the next one is we have the one adjustment that is what entry fees should be capitalized okay aapne kahe isme bhi dekha tha uh isme the last term usme usme ek percentage diya tha but here they have not given the percentage uh, the entry should be capitalized okay now apna capital fund hame likhna hai first of all 30000 and how much is that enter entrance fees kitna hai entrance fees that is 28000 but there is no percentage given here so what we will do we will directly write entrance fees less capital matlab entrance fees 28 hai wo capitalization pura amount hum log dal de there is no percentage given uh, i think in the last uh, some they have given something 15 or 50% something so 30 ka humne 15 uh, 50% diya tha that was also something 15 1000 so is bar aisa koi percentage nahi diya so yahan 28 hai so we are taking the full amount to be capitalized so the outer column will be zero okay and now what in the you have to in the balance sheet for the capital side we have to add the whole amount of entry fees that is 28000 okay now what we are doing hum log ne har time na yahan pe hamara amount jyada tha to hum log kya karte the we need to hum log add karte the the excess amount the balance the surplus amount that we used to carry but now this time we got the deficit matlab apna jo expenditure hai wo apne income se zyada so now we are deducting that amount 7860 okay so aapka capital account uh, jo capital fund hai wo 30000 hai apne sorry apne kya enter entry kiya we have added this uh, entrance uh, fees okay entrance fees how much it is 28000 okay so wo amount wo amount kya uske baad apne ye is bar minus kiya se surplus hota to you add karta but is bar hamara jo uh, expenditure wo jata we got this amount this is how we calculate and we got the outer column and this is how we done it. now one more thing we uh, i need to say that jo hamara jo expend uh, yahan jo uh, outstanding deposition hai na students 2018 or 19 ka right wo adjustment mein aapko diya hai it is outstanding correct but if you see here this uh, the yahan pe dekho 2019 or 20 ka bhi amount hai 
करेक्ट ये क्या है अपना दिस इज अ हम लोग ने जो बैलेंस शीट अभी हम लोग ने आपने हेडिंग बनाया है दिस इज 2019 का मतलब ये जो 3000 है ना इसमें देखो 20 आ रहा है मींस हमको हमारा जो बैलेंस शीट है 2019 का है 2018 टू 19 बट ये जो अमाउंट है 2019 टू 20 का है मतलब हमको ये 3000 एडवांस में मिला है ओके सो वी विल एंटर दिस एज सब्सक्रिप्शन रिसीव्ड इन एडवांस दैट इज 3000 ओके this amount is as per the adjustment student see 2018 and 19 i am taken this and this one jo aap bol rahe the na abhi tak pattern iske bare mein kyun nahi pata to this 3000 we are taking as a advance payment i hope the year is clear yes and this is how uh, and the uh, this is your the balance it is being tallied done okay yes students Let's now let uh, one of you unmute and let me know if it, this is done. So that yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, somebody has not gone, uh, मतलब not got the answer or you find any difficulty while calculating, you just take the screenshot. Just move the table up. Ah, uh, please take the screenshot. If you have the textbook, it's okay. If you don't have, you can take the screenshot and solve it. Okay. So students, you need a practice for this account. Okay. Now we shall move to the next topic. Constitution of the partner. This is a new topic for you. Reconstitution of partner. That is the admission of the partner. Okay. What do you mean by reconstitution? See, uh, when there is a company. Okay. The company happens with only one person. Or what individual? Like, a company can run. Can it? No. You need a team. Team means what? More than one person. See, alone, we can. Sab kar rahe. It's okay. But we need a partner. Why we need a partner? How can we share the ratio? How can a ratio of what the profit and losses? See, company always profit करती है. No, okay. There, uh, there are the phases where we face the losses also. So this is what the reconstruction is all about. Partnership में क्या agreement होती है? कैसे ratio change होता है? क्या होता है? This all comes in reconstruction of the partnership. Let's start with this. Now we'll start with the introduction part. Partnership is an agreement between two or more person. कि इसमें इसमें दो तो होने ही चाहिए. Minimum should be two for the part. If I'm alone, I can say I'm a partner. No, I need a partner, right? So two or more a person of sharing the profit and loss. Not only profit you're sharing, you have to share the loss in the business. Okay? ये दोनों agreement में होता है. आप से profit ने loss भी share कर दो. It can be equal. Okay? Or it depends upon the ratio. Any change in the existing agreement leads to the constitution. See, friends, this word. This word is very important. Leads to the reconstruction of the partnership. Um, reconstruction means changes. Hota hai. Agreement. Mein. Agreement. Mein jab changes. Hota hai, that is called as reconstruction of the partnership. There may be any some reason for the changes in agreement. Okay. What reasons? Kya hai? We'll see. Okay. Now this change can end of the existing agreement or a new uh, agreement comes into begin. With being with a change relationship of the members. See, if we have to make an agreement, banana hai, right? I'll give you the example in further also. See, for example, A and B is uh, they are uh, just they are the partners, okay, and the company is running. See, for example, uh, C, okay, A and B are the partner. Now C wants to join A and B. Now, the agreement pehla banana hai. The agreement previous agreement was between A and B. Now C wanted to enter, right? A and B का agreement already this is done. से वो लोग ने half half क्या किया है जो भी profit है loss है वो share करने का this is agreement prepared. Now C wanted to enter. Okay. Now what happens? Will this agreement remain the same? No. Now we have to prepare the agreement that is A, B and C. हमको new बनाना है. Company remains the same. Company कहीं नहीं जा रही. Company remains the same. We can't change the whole company. But what we can change the agreement. Now the agreement happens be, uh, between A, B, and C. Understood till here? Is this clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so 
मैंने क्या तो व्हाट डिड आई से ए एंड बी वेदर पार्टनर सी वांटेड टू डू सो सम व्हाट हैपेंस देयर इज अ चेंज इन द रेशियो नाउ देयर इज अ चेंज पहले ए बी ने क्या बोला विल शेयर इक्वली व्हाटएवर द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस बट नाउ सी इज कमिंग विल ही एग्री देन ही मे ही आल्सो मस्ट हैव सम रेशियो राइट सो a new agreement is made means renewal of an agreement renewal of an agreement change in the agreement or a new agreement that we call as constitution of the partnership matlab something change something happens in that agreement because of some reason okay wo change hota hai maybe by admitting ya to wo koi chhod ke ja raha hai let's say further that okay the change uh, the changes at the end of the existing agreement and a new agreement comes into be With a change relationship among them. Relationship मतलब क्या होता है उनका ratio जो होता है change होता है. The reconstruction of the firm occurs in various ways such as reconstruction कब होता है? कब re uh, मतलब कब हम लोग agreement renewal करते हैं? कब new agreement बनता है? Admission of the partner जैसा मैंने अभी एक example बताया. A B were the partner, C wanted to enter. So admission of the partner, new admit, new admit मतलब कोई enter कर रहा है new partner. change in profit uh, sharing ratio now i'll give an example say for example change in profit ratio matlab aapko maine ek example bata a aur b partners the right now a what he told we will share equally we will share equally now aapko maine bataya c bhi bol baad mein c admit hua done so, so now we all kya bolo chalo hum log teenon mein kya karte hain equally share karte hain ओके दिस वाज डन विद द फर्स्ट वन पार्ट कि सी भी एडमिट हो गया तो तीनों ने एग्री किया म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग का द एग्रीमेंट शुड बी इन म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग मतलब किसको किससे अपोज अपोज नहीं लेना चाहिए कि नहीं दिस इज नॉट तो म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग में अगर एग्रीमेंट हो रही है इट्स ओके सो नाउ हियर ए बी सी आर दे आर शेयरिंग द इक्वल रेशियो ओके इनका जो भी है इसको स्क्वायर सी को नाउ व्हाट नाउ B is telling that I don't want to continue I don't want to continue with you okay What is telling? पहले वो लोग ने क्या किया इक्वल वो लोग ने बोला जो भी हम लोग तीन में हैं वो हम लोग इक्वल इक्वल शेयर करेंगे ना बी टोल्ड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू विद इट मैं कंपनी में रहना चाहता हूँ मुझे काम नहीं करना है ओके आई वॉन्ट टू स्टे विद द कंपनी बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वर्क तो नाउ ए एन बी ए एन सी एग्री करेंगे क्या वो एग्री तो करेंगे ओके okay. आपको काम नहीं करना है इट्स ओके ओके बट यू नॉट लिविंग विद द कंपनी यू आर विथ अस सिर्फ काम नहीं करो तो अभी आपका प्रॉफिट रेशियो जो है वो लेस हो जाएगा क्या होगा ए और सी क्या बोल रहे हैं नाउ सी यू आर नॉट वर्किंग विद अस हम लोग इतना हार्ड वर्क कर रहे हैं राइट right? तो हमें क्या होना चाहिए द प्रॉफिट रेशियो वो ज्यादा होना चाहिए तो व्हाट विल इनका और इनका प्रॉफिट रेशियो बढ़ता है और दिस विल बी लेस वाइट बिकॉज इज ऑनली क्या होता है ही इज ऑनली प्रेजेंट बट इज नॉट एक्चुअली वर्किंग तो कहा इससे क्या होता है द प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग रेशियो चेंज होता है There is a change in the profit ratio. Understood? One more. Again, I will give a simple example. So A, B, C. So A or B make करते हैं. A or B था, right? अभी A or B equally share कर रहे थे. B बोल I don't want to work. But he says that I want to stay here. तो अभी वो पहले half half make कर रहे थे. Okay. अभी B क्या बोल रहा है? I want to stay, but I don't want to work here. तो इनका रेशियो क्या होगा अभी चेंज होगा तो अभी बी क्या बोलेगा नहीं अब मैं थ्री रोगा अभी टू लो तो अभी जो प्रॉफिट है वो सेक्रीफाइस कौन कर रहा है बी कर रहा है बी का जो प्रॉफिट है लेस है लेकिन अभी इसका क्या हो रहा है बढ़ रहा है ओके द कैलकुलेशन आई विल जस्ट कंटिन्यू इन द फ्रंट पर जस्ट टू जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ओके सो ए का प्रॉफिट रेशियो क्या होगा अभी बढ़ रहा है वो बोल रहा है मैं क्यों मैं तो इधर हार्डवर्क कर रहा हूँ आई नीड द प्रॉफिट तो इसका जो प्रॉफिट रेशियो ज्यादा रहेगा और इसका कम हो जाएगी सेक्रीफाइसिंग मतलब वो बोल रहा है नाम के लिए कंपनी में अंडरस्टूड सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज चेंज इन द रेशियो ऑफ द प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग रेशियो नेक्स्ट इज द रिटायरमेंट ऑफ द पार्टनर रिटायरमेंट मतलब उसको कंप्लीटली छोड़ना ही नॉट ही इज कंप्लीटली नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द द कंपनी ओके सो व्हाट इज डूइंग वो पूरा हम लोग वो क्या कर रहा है क्विट कर रहा है इसमें आपने मैंने के प्रीवियस एग्जांपल दिया था कि बी uh, को क्या रहना है बट ही डोंट वांट टू वर्क but is me retirement of partner means who is quitting completely okay maybe not may there may be some of the other reason next one is a death or insolvency of the partner that matlab who suddenly like this ki maine bola a b or c equal share kar rahe the right suddenly c is dead to inka ratio wapas change ho gaya na pehle ka jo agreement tha wo teeno ke beech tha a b or c 
now the new the new agreement the renewal of the agreement okay there's a reconstruction of the agreement will be made between only a b understood why because c is the happen it is dead clear it is clear yes see now the admission of a new partner now we'll see uh, see the uh, sir, definition the explanation part okay a new partner may be admitted when the firm needs additional capital jab wo aata hai partner wo aise aa jata hai kya no what he brings yes that is a, a capital so it can be in the form of cash or it can be in the form of asset okay so a new partner may be admitted when the firm needs additional capital marginal hai according to the provision of partnership act 1932 unless it is otherwise provided in the partnership deed a new partner can be admitted only when the partner unanimously agree for it partners matlab unanimously matlab mutual understanding ke sath hona chahiye koi kya hona chahiye nahi nahi ye aise mat karo aise karo to koi bhi enter nahi hoga understood okay next see uh, first of all i uh, need to ask you why we need the admit admission humko naya admission kyu chahiye new of the partner see already a or b khush the na to agar usse enter karna chahta hai he wanted to enter so why we need a pa pa uh, partner again yes we need a partner to kya hota hai apna company hum bada sakte hain what comes inside capital because when the c comes the c partner comes he brings the capital it can be in the form of cash or asset or at the same time apna goodwill wo kya lata hai goodwill maybe he, uh, he may be smart ab usse wo aane se apni company ko aur kuch fayda hai there can be a profit yes or no so these are the scenarios for which we admit the a partner understood next one is a change in the profit uh, sharing ratio among the existing partner okay jaise agar wo admit new partner admit hota hai jo a b hai samjho ye previous hai wo to new partner c hai to inka jo pehle tha wo ab aap kya hoga now a b c the new will be created a new agreement create hoga ye old ka cancel hoga why because c is entering and the new agreement will be made now the the profit ratio will change it's not equal okay next one is the retirement of an existing partner retire matlab he is not interested or he don't or he wanted to quit the business okay so it means withdrawal by the partner from the business of firm which may be due to by bad health old age or change in the business interest to kisi aur mein invest karna so in fact a partner can retire any time if the partnership is at the will okay usko jab wish kare he can quit next is the debt of a partner that means we have discussed earlier also maybe because i happen something due to uh, due to the debt this legal hire will be get partner share in the business the share of the profit of the continued partners will change okay abhi ye jo partners ka hai wo ratio change ho jayega because if uh, i mean aapko ek example diya tha ki a b c kar rahe the suddenly death of the c जो पहला एग्रीमेंट टीमे का बना था नाउ सी इज डाइट अभी सिर्फ किसका बनेगा न्यू रिन्यूबल ऑफ द एग्रीमेंट बिटवीन ए एंड बी ओके शेयर ऑफ द प्रॉफिट ऑफ कंटिन्यू पार्टनर विल चेंज एंड द न्यू पार्टनर एंड द ओल्ड पार्टनर्स एग्रीमेंट ये जो एग्रीमेंट है वो क्या होगा हो जाएगा एंड ए बी का न्यू एग्रीमेंट बनेगा the renewal of the agreement between a and b and the agreement of a b and c will be end okay now uh, there are some ratios see admission jab aata hai koi partner admit hota hai to directly aa jao aa jao karke hum nahi bol sakte there are some the rules like he, uh, he needs to be in the capital he needs to uh, he has some scenarios uske bhi kuch bolte hain rules hote hain okay we need to share with them okay to so see that uh, a new partner can be admitted into the firm only with the consent of all existing partner unless otherwise agreed upon directly hum log usko enter nahi karenge we have to jo bhi hai like a b c hai और डी को एंटर करना है यू दिस ऑल इनका पूरा एग्रीमेंट हमको चाहिए मतलब दे शुड अंडरस्टैंड अरे हाँ तभी हम इनका जो परमिशन इन सब का परमिशन लेना है तभी वो डी एंटर करेगा डायरेक्टली वी कैन टेक क्योंकि वो सोचता है ना हाँ डी कैन इफ डी एंटर्स ना वी मे गेट प्रॉफिट ओके द कंपनी में एक्सपांड तो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ये क्या है म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग है या तो उनकी म्यूचुअल कन्वर्सेशन हो गई जो उनको लग रहा है कि हाँ डी वेन कम्स ना विदर विल बी अ प्रॉफिट ओके
just a minute, students. Okay. Uh, no, just so now the next one, I'll just uh, see uh, one, one more point. What are the points we require when the admission when the new partner is entered? Okay, a new partner can be admitted into the firm only with the context of all existing partner, unless otherwise agreed upon. The admission of a new partner, the partnership firm is reconstituted and a new agreement is entered into carry on the business of the firm. Okay, upcoming example here, A, B already there. C is entering. So now we have to renew the agreement between abhi jo a b ka hai wo old that will be ended a b c a new agreement will be created okay now what are the rights sir? the newly admitted partners acquires two rights two rights hai jo naya partner aata hai what the right to share the asset of the partnership to partnership mein jo companies hai wo asset ko share karega obvious or the profit kya hai and the profit whatever the profit happens sirf a b karenge c doesn't want a what no he is also the partner he is also the partner in the company so now the, uh, the the new person that is c is going to share the profit okay for the right to acquire the share in the asset and profit of the partnership the partner being an aggregate amount of capital either in cash or kind see when the new uh, the new partner is coming he see uh, that uh, a b is agreeing some capital amount which amount later the cash it can be a cash or a asset okay in the case of establishment of the firm which may be earning a super profit Okay, and super profit matlab kya? Agar wo aa sakta to humme jyada profit ho sakti hai. See, it depends upon how the other uh, person is entering. Okay, if he is like, what is a smart hai, intelligent hai, ya usme quality hai, ki humare company mein like, uh, usko badana hai, expand karna hai, so we may face a super profit. A new partner is required to contribute some additional amount known as a premium or a goodwill. Okay, goodwill matlab, wo apna naam bhi, usse kya hoti hai, agar wo enter kar raha hai, agar wo apne company ko expand ho raha hai, so there will be a good will and uske sath wo jab wo akela aata hai uska bhi kuch naam hoga na kahin pe to usse bhi apne kya hote hai company ko fayda hote hai uske good will se hame fayda hota hai what do you mean by good will the fame the name the reputation okay that is good will <clears throat> now these are the points we will we'll go one by one further okay right now we just uh, check out that okay points to be remembered at the time of admission of the new partner okay kya kya hai New profit sharing ratio to calculate karna hai. sacrifice ratio calculate karna hai. Okay, next one is what we have uh, the valuation of the goodwill ka hum logo calculation karna hai. Fir asset and liabilities ka karna hai. Reserves ka karna hai. And adjustment of the partner's capital karna hai. These are the scenarios you will see one by one as you did in the uh, sum. Like balance sheet me kaise ek 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 scenario new 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 started calculating the same way. We will also doing doing this. Okay. Now. The new uh, profit sacrifice. Yes. yes, next, please continue. A student who is reading? After they add the new partner sharing of profit will be as per the calculated new profit sharing ratio. But yes, a new profit sharing ratio will be made. Okay, next, continue. But what will be the share of new partner and how he will acquire it from the existing partner is decided mutually among the old partners and new partner. Uh, now see, uh, see what happens now. See when A and B, they were alone. C entered. Now A, B, C will decide the ratio. equally karega. No. See this C. C say na kuch goodwill, matlab C ka bhi kuch naam hai. To wo kya bolega? I need more profit. Mujhe more profit chahiye kyunki mera already company mein kida to naam hai. So I am entering. Isse kya hota hai? Aapke company ko fayda hoga. So what he will do? Now A and B have to agree. To wo kya bolega? Okay, okay. Now you take the share ratio more. To aise bhi ho sakta hai. It can be like this. Iska two hai, iska three. And now the C will be five. Sabse jada profit hai. So this is how the ratio is being done by the discussion in, within the partners. Okay, within the partners. Yes, uh, Riddhi, please continue, student. However, <coughs> however, if nothing is specified as to how the new partner acquires his share from the old partner, it may be assumed that he gets the it gets it from them in their profit sharing ratio. Ah, so if he's uh, if not demanding. So
Andu, ha. Okay, it's Anil and Vishal. Okay, no problem. Anandu and Vishal are partners sharing profit in the ratio of three rest to two. They, ad they admitted. Okay, fine. I will read. Uh, Anil Vishal are partners sharing profits in the ratio of three to two. Okay, now see students. Uh, there are the two partners. Who are Anil and Vishal? Unka kya ratio hai? Three is two. Unka ratio kya hai? Three is two. Two hai unka ratio. Okay. Now they admitted Ravi. Who aaya hai? Abhi enter who kar raha hai? Naya Ravi kar raha hai. Uska bhi usko kitna ratio chahiye? The partners. Uh, the admitted. Admitted Ravi as a new partner of one point one upon five. Now the share is the future profit. Is sharing the future profit. ratio se jo bhi unka profit ho hai, they will share all this profit. Iska ye ratio hai. Ek, uh, this is Anil. Who is this Anil? And Vishal is true. Clear? It is clear. Now calculate the new profit sharing ratio of 